Manuel Álvarez Bravo was born in Mexico City in, 19, in 1902, and he lived uh, 100 years, during which he, he was very active. So he continued to be an active photographer uh, until the end of his life. He had bought the book of Picasso in 1933, and it was after this idea of cubism, of pure form, that he starts making these amazing minimalist, constructivist works. In order to make his living, Alvarez Bravo had to work as an accountant. And these two photographs are a way of uh, transforming this daily experience in an accountant's office uh, into something creative. He takes these rolls of paper and he folds them and he photographs them, transforming the papers into something else. cement company, La Tolteca, organized a prize uh, that would promote uh, modern use of, uh, of concrete. And it was Alvarez Bravo who won this contest with this amazing photograph. And it made a scandal. It was a hit because photographers said that this was not photography. While other photographers chose more representative images of the concrete industry, Alvarez Bravo went to the factory and chose these three elements, the stones, the concrete wall, and uh, the roof as three simple elements to symbolize this new modern order. This is a photo that was taken in 1950, and the title is a Boy Within a Triangle. So this is a, a street photography. Uh, but then you will see that, look to the title and look to the image. It's a boy from the streets, but which is, was captured, you know, within this triangle. He was looking for is the shape is the triangle and the boy captured within the triangle. What he usually uh, did was to place the tripod uh, in front of a, um, a place where he thought that something interesting could happen. And so, and he waited there. President of Mexico, Pascual Ortiz Rubio, organizes a contest of shop windows. It was after the 1929 crisis. He, he wanted to stimulate, uh, you know, the the growth of commerce in Mexico. So Alvarez Bravo works on a series of images of window shops, of which this is the probably the most important, the Paraboloptique, and. And much has been said about the influence of Ajet in, in Alvarez Bravo's work. And there's certainly something of Ajet here. But 
Alvarez Bravo goes beyond Adjet because he's not only inspired by the reflections of the windows and the different planes uh, of these reflections within the, the window image, but he's inspired by the idea of these not only visual games, but language games within the image. You know, when Breton arrived in Mexico, uh, he said, oh la la, ici le surrealisme c'est dans la vie. Uh, and so he was uh, quite uh, amazed uh, by in Mexico. And so, and, and, and so he tagged uh, artists who were working there and producing their own stuff already, so he tagged them as surrealists, like natural surrealists. Well, you know, the, the muralist and Frida Kahlo and some vernacular uh, artists, and also Alvarez Bravo was also, in a way, tagged as a, a surrealist. To me, it's very difficult to do that with Alvarez Bravo, because he's a much more sober, uh, um, constructive artist. I think that he belongs to a different aesthetics. He was more focused on the image by itself, rather than representing Mexico through images. Breton calls Alvarez Bravo over the phone and he asks for an image. And they produce this extraordinary series of images uh, of which La Bonne Renommée and Dormi is the most important one. La Buena Fama Durmiendo. And this is the only image that Alvarez Bravo recognizes that has a real surrealist uh, inspiration. Manuel Álvarez Bravo was a, a quite cultivated man. He uh, listened to classic music, he uh, read a lot, and he also loved cinema. I think that uh, Álvarez Bravo was like uh, a frustrated filmmaker because he never had a chance to enter into the Mexican film industry. But he kept doing some uh, films experimental films. All these images in the show uh, are, are photographs uh, with an important value, but they're also like sketches of something that he would have done if he had had the chance of making films. This was a film to be shot at a small village in Mexico with actors who were the village people. And this, the film is now disappeared, uh, but now we have uh, these four wonderful shoots, the plateau of this film, in which he is repeating the idea of the lying figure of Le Brier assassiné. What Alvarez Bravo is doing with these lying figures it is giving a turn to this iconic image of the lying person, the dead person of the Mexican Revolution. We're not really sure if he's dead or if he's dying, and that's what's so fascinating about this image.
would say that this exhibition is about how photography thinks itself and how Alvarez Bravo meditated upon photography. <laughs>